my request uh, dr manoj p k kochin university of science and engineering at nagno kerala and uh, i request uh, uh, reshma ma'am to introduce dr manoj p k dr manoj p k has specialized in performance analysis and is focusing mainly on housing finance and banking in this area he completed three centrally sponsored major product projects one by ugc and two by icsc one national fellowship and one associate ship he has guided over a dozen doctor post doctoral scholars and has published over 150 papers in journals conference volumes obtained doctorate in literature 2014 presided by phd economics phd management and clb he has 8 years of industry experience currently working as a faculty of kochi university of science and technology at nagala his education doctor in economics 2014 phd economics 2010 phd management 2007 mtech mechanical engineering production engineering 2005 ma economics 2003 mcom 1999 mba 1994 btech mechanical engineering 1992 so please really multi talented multi diversity an engineer an economist so you can see yeah. a very good morning to one and all respected prakash sir professor spontitas jasir jasir sir shibu sir Dear sir and sir, other professors uh, and dignitaries, participants, uh, it's my privilege and prestige with, to be with you. Which is a special occasion as a keynote speaker or a chief guest, whatsoever. And uh, only very recently, only a few days back, I got the invitation. I couldn't uh, get that much of time. Still. Uh, say a few scholars like uh, say three are here and one person is doing it online. Totally four scholars are uh, here to present their papers, and uh, I'll be focusing uh, on uh, this digital India. Like uh, the topic is like this only: knowledge economy of Kerala in digital India and analysis with a focus on employment prospects. Like as you know today. Uh, we are in the digital era our uh, as a government policy we have this of digital today at the national level and uh, even at the state level uh, we have a similar one this of knowledge knowledge economy okay knowledge economy of kerala or digital kerala and uh, the basic theme behind uh, this one digital india is digital digitally empowering people and uh, the uh, actually uh, as part of that uh, say lots of uh, e governance platforms at the national and uh, state level we have and the government is providing all the services digitally through this e government uh, e governance platforms and uh, say the digital infrastructure the government is going to enhance uh, through this digital india uh, i mean scheme and the state also we are moving in a similar fashion um, accordingly the government wants to empower the masses uh, including the marginalized and all those people what about the so called marginalized people uh, then uh, the women etc etc then today we are uh, in the era of 3d 3d means uh, uh, like uh, digitalization digitalization is nothing but uh digital transformation then uh, of course uh, this one disruption is the disruption in the sense uh, like say you are changing or you are in a way or you are transforming according adjust yourself to the changes in the technology and all that it is also called uh, innovation or disruptive innovation and of course we have the third d the so called digital science or data science Therefore, these three Ds will be transforming the business industry and uh, people like us, all of us. Then, uh, the budget will be also the 
government has given lots of thrust for digital India, and the government is going to foster technology, digital uh, economy, and fintech. Fintech means financial technologies in order to 